Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are getting serious about a possible move to California, and have even been looking at some lavish properties. Among the homes the two are said to be considering is a recently completed $7 million Malibu mansion that comes with a pool, tennis court, and five bedrooms for the couple and baby Archie. The property is just a stone's throw from the beach and the homes of Hollywood heavyweights Robert Downey Jr., Mel Gibson, Dick Van Dyke, and Caitlyn Jenner. It was Caitlyn who first broke the news that Meghan and Harry were looking at properties in Malibu while appearing on Loose Women. Do you think they'll be welcomed a lot in, in whether it's America or Canada? Yeah, I heard they were looking for a house in Malibu. Oh, hey, next now, there's a million rumors, you know. To do what? Keeping up with the Sussexes. That's exactly <laughs> it. And I'm thinking, okay, they moved down the street, you know, Megan and Harry, they'd be fun. We see them at the grocery store and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Caitlin also threw her support behind Megan during her appearance on the program. It was a big shock to her. She's probably had enough. Good for them. We'll see how it goes, said Caitlin. I heard they were looking for a house in Malibu. It must have been tough. Everyone deserves to be happy. The house offers the ex-royals a good deal of privacy as it is tucked away from the main strip in Malibu, where the two could get dinner at Nobu or pick up groceries at Whole Foods. It was previously owned by Baywatch star David Charvet and his wife, Brooke Burke. News of the potential move comes after Harry and Meghan made an appearance in California at Stanford last Tuesday, just days after appearing in Miami at an event hosted by J.P. Morgan. The couple flew down that morning on an Alaska Air flight, an eyewitness told LMT Channel, and were greeted at the school by the university's president, Mark Tessier Lavigny. Today was the first to report the news, and had little else in the way of details. Meghan and Harry were reportedly brainstorming with members of the Stanford community as they planned to launch a new charity following the couple's now infamous exit. Stanford is also close to Apple headquarters, where Prince Harry had been developing a new series with Oprah Winfrey. The docuseries, which focuses on mental health, was announced early last year but there has been little news about the project since that time. Meghan, meanwhile, is dipping her toe back into the acting waters. Prior to marrying Prince Harry, Meghan was known for her hustle when it came to landing work. She even asked Wendy Williams if she could become a fashion expert on the host's daytime show. Wendy explained to her audience that the press-shy princess was once very much interested in the exposure that would be provided to her if she appeared on a few episodes of The Wendy Show. Markle even went to the New York offices of the program during her pitch, but when the show called back to make the big offer, they found the situation had suddenly changed for the suit star. Wendy asked for her producer to join the conversation at one point, who explained, So Markle wanted to be on the show. They chatted with her, and they thought that she'd be perfect to come here and do it and then by the time we decided to book her. So that is when the talk show host replied. She was already engaged. In other news, with Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's recent decision to exit the royal family now a done deal, it's interesting to look back at some of the signs that Prince Harry might not have always wanted his royal life. He was once referred to as a reluctant royal, and it's clear now that he might have had the idea to quit for some time. Prince Harry considered leading his royal life in the past. The decision to exit was the right call for the Sussexes, but the thought to leave the royal family wasn't a new one for Prince Harry. In part, Harry rebelled against his royal status with his party boy lifestyle in the past. In speaking with journalist Angela Levin, recounted in 2017, Prince Harry explained, I spent many years kicking my heels and I didn't want to grow up. Prince Harry admitted that during those years of total chaos, he was very close to a breakdown and seriously considered his role, noting, 
No one in the royal family wants to be chain or queen. I felt I wanted out, but then decided to stay in and work out a role for myself, Prince Harry added. Prince Harry was a reluctant royal, according to biographer. Those moments when Prince Harry questioned his role in the family had some experts worried that he would at some point want to call it quits on his royal duties. In the 2018 documentary Meghan Markle, American princess, royal biographer Penny Juner shared that Harry was a reluctant royal, adding, I think there was a real danger at one time that Harry might turn his back on his royal life and his royal responsibilities and go and live somewhere quietly. CBS This Morning's Gail King noted in the documentary that he decided not to leave his duties for the Queen. She, like the rest of us, forgave him, King shared. He sorted out his role and purpose, and that kept Prince Harry on board for quite some time. But when he met and married Meghan, the couple found the intense media scrutiny became a challenge they weren't willing to endure. Harry hoped for a more normal life. Rebecca English also shared her insight into Prince Harry's history, noting, Harry has never worn the mantle of royalty easily. He's always just wanted to be one of the boys, albeit just one with deeper pockets and more houses than most, several times during our travels around the world. He has spoken to me about how he would just like to walk away from it all, she wrote. Until he settled down with Meghan, his biggest wish was to go off and live in Africa. I would love to just go and work as a tour guide, you know? Just go off into the bush and be me, as he would say. It was clear that his idea of just wanting to be normals wasn't anywhere near the same normality the rest of us experience. It was wanting to live his very privileged life without the irritation of public and particularly press scrutiny, she added. Queen Elizabeth is reportedly being firm on one point, their use of the Sussex royal brand. One royal commentator notes that the way the Queen is drawing a line in the sand speaks volumes about how she wants to protect the monarchy's reputation. Queen Elizabeth is banning the use of Sussex Royal. According to multiple reports, the Queen banned the use of the Sussex Royal brand, as an insider shared that the use of the words Royals would be reviewed. As the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are stepping back as senior members of the royal family and will work towards financial independence, use of the words Royal is in this context needed to be reviewed and discussions are still ongoing, a source told Harper's Bazaar. The insider added, as part of the process to transition the Duke and Duchess of Sussex into their new chapter, planning has been well underway around the launch of their new nonprofit organization. Details will be shared in due course. The Queen is protecting the monarchy, expert claims. Royal commentator Dan Wooten weighed in with his thoughts on the Queen banning the Sussex royal brand and believes she's sending a strong message. Her decision to ban Harry and Meghan from using the Sussex royal brand when they officially makes it in just a few weeks would have been personally difficult for the monarch, Wooten continued. The Queen rightly wants to try to be supportive of her grandson's new start even though she is personally very upset by their choice to quit as a senior royal. But she also knows that the couple's desire to make a lot of money in the commercial sector is potentially perilous for the reputation of the monarchy. The royal expert further shared that this is a move the Queen will be quite firm on, sharing this decision to ban Harry and Meghan from using Sussex Royal is the Queen drawing a very clear line in the sand. She is saying, sorry guys, you cannot have it both ways, Jeez. So there you have it. That's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.